No problem. Didn't work.
No problem. Got it. Is what a Jedi can do. No problem. Didn't work.
Who dares intrude on our meditations? You know the penalty for... Riven, you are back. Malak told us what happened to you. The Jedi Council has stripped you of your power. You are a shell of what you once were. You are not fit to rule the Sith anymore, Revan. Darth Malak will reward us greatly for destroying you. worthy of my skills. I grow so bored with slaughtering these mindless training droids. I intensified my training tenfold in hopes I would get the chance to face you in mortal combat. I am glad to see my training has not been in vain. Didn't work. Didn't work. No problem. Didn't work.
Didn't work.
Yes? Yen ke kung no ba, mole na chi kong, tong hai tung kong ching, ne bobo je mata. Rondi hao donga pu honga vi, wala kung bes, cheng pala mole tong, tong hai wang chi di yu mali, tak ag in kong tu. Tok da bon kwalia gando de na ga chukta kung jos tak mi ki grabu mogo. Ka chi chu ita hao donga, tong pa de bon kwal. Ka chi chu ita hao donga. Yin ki kuno ba muli ra chikun Tong hai wam chiki yu ma li tak ak in kok tu Toto da bang kwal ya gando de na agash Ta kong jos tak mi ki grab lo mogu Ka chichu ita hao donga Tong pa te bang kwal Rondi hao donga ku hong ka vi Wala kung bes Cheng pa la muli tong king ba no kong ke Tuk ni jebe doana ni bobo Tong da ta kong cheko Jen Ta kong jos tak mi ki grab lo mogu Cachichu ita hao donga Tolpa te bong kwa ya gando Tong hai wam chiki yu ma li tak ag in kok tu Tolpa te bong kwa ya gando de na aga cho cho Ta kong jos tak mi ki grab lo mogu Cachichu ita hao donga Tolpa te bong tong hai wam chiki yu ma li tak ag in kok tu Tolpa te bong kwa ya gando de na Ta kong jos tak mi ki grab lo mogu Cachichu ita hao donga Tolpa te bong kwa ya gando de na aga cho cho Tong hai wam chiki yu ma li tak ag in kok tu Tolpa da bong kwa ya gando de na aga cho Ta kong jos tak mi ki grab lo mogu Ka chi chu ita hao donga Tolpa da bong kwa ya gando Tong hai wam chiki yu ma Ta kong jos tak mi ki grab lo Ka chi chu ita hao donga Yin ki Tong hai wam chiki yu ma li tak ag in kok tu Tolpa da bong kwa ya gando de na aga cho cho Ta kong jos tak mi ki grab lo mogu Ka chi chu ita hao donga Tong pa te bong kwa ya ga Rondi hao donga ku hong ka vi Wala kung bes Cheng pa la Ta kong jos tak mi Tong hai wam chi ki yu ma li tak ag in kok tu Tong pa da bong kwa ya ga ndo de na aga cho cho Ta kong jos tak mi ki grab lo mogu Ka chi chu ita hao donga Tong pa te bong kwa ya ga ndo de na aga cho cho Tong hai wam chiki yu ma li tak ag ta kong jos tak mi ki grab lo mogu Ka chi chu ita hao donga Tong pa te bong kwa ya Tong hai wam chiki yu ma li tak ag in kok tu Tong pa te bong kwa ya ga ndo de Ta kong jos tak mi Rondi hao donga ku hong ka vi Wala kung bes Cheng pa la mo li tong king ba no kong ke Tuk ni ta cho Tong hai wam chiki yu ma li tak ag in kok tu Tong pa te bong kwa ya ga ndo de na aga Ta kong jos tak mi ki grab lo mogu Ka chi chu ita hao Tong hai wam chi ki yu ma li tak ag in kok tu Tong pa da bong kwa ya ga ndo de na aga cho cho Ta kong jos tak mi ki grab lo mogu Ka chi chu ita hao donga Tong pa te bong kwa ka chi chu ita hao donga Yen ki ku no ba mo li Tong hai wam chi ki yu ma li tak ag in kok tu Tong pa da bong kwa ya ga ndo de na aga Ita na tanya ita Wata yama
gladly used my battle meditation in their wars, but they still treated me like a child, like an inferior. They were jealous of my power, of what I could become. They wanted me to bow and call them master and follow their code and obey their every order. But all the while, they were exploiting my battle meditation for their own use. Lies. You were the one living a lie, Revan. The Jedi Council made you into something you were not. They programmed you to be their slave. You used to be Revan, Master of the Sith, but no longer. You were simply a pawn of the Jedi Council and the Republic they serve, like I was, until Malak freed me from their shackles. A pity the power you once had is so diluted in you. You could have been as strong as I am now. Stronger even, but that will never happen now. With the power of the Starforge, Malak will destroy the Republic and conquer the galaxy. And I will be the apprentice at his side. After I prove my worth by killing you. Ah! 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 
you were stronger than I would have thought possible after what the Jedi Council did to you. Seems that Malak was wrong. The power of the dark side has not lost you after all, Revan. You can deny what you are, Revan, but you're only fooling yourself. I know the truth. I have seen the shadows inside your mind. Remember? I was there when you nearly died in the trap set by the Jedi Council. I used the Force to preserve your life, Revan. We are forever linked by my actions on that bridge. These are not your true feelings, Revan. You are speaking as a tool of the Jedi Council, as I once did. But now I see how the Jedi used us both. The Council tried to exploit the bond between us. They hoped I would draw out your memories to lead them to the Star Forge. We were slaves to their will, like all who followed the Jedi Code. But in our shared visions of the star maps, I also felt the so-called taint within you. I resisted it at first, but now I embrace the power of the dark side. Your dark side. Mistakes. No, Revan. The only mistake you are making is the one you are making now. You deny yourself the power that is yours by right. Only now do I realize how strong you are. You deserve to be the true master of the Sith, not Malak. I see this now. Together we can destroy your old apprentice. Join with me and reclaim your lost identity. Your mind was too badly damaged to ever fully restore your memories, Revan. But your power, your strength of will, the essence of who and what you are, these things still remain. Once, long ago, you defied the Jedi Council, freeing yourself from their control. You claimed your rightful title of Dark Lord of the Sith. Together we can defeat Malak and take back what is yours. Bestula, it is not too late for you to be saved. The teachings of the Jedi can lead you from the dark side back into the light and the true understanding of the Force. You are beneath my contempt, Juhani. When you felt the power of the dark side, you fled to a cave like some cowering animal. You know nothing of the Force or its true potential. But you, Revan, the power of the dark side is yours to command. You can use it to destroy Malak. With my help, you could rule over the entire galaxy. You were a pathetic fool, Revan. Together we could have defeated Malak and ruled over an empire. But now, I will be at Lord Malak's side instead. You will be crushed with the Republic and all the fools who bow down to the Jedi Council. No one can stand against the power of the Star Forge and the Sith fleet. something on your mind, do you? Not particularly. <sighs> Not in got something on your mind. Not but Such a... <sighs> Not in...
back. But where's Bastila? Is she alive? What happened inside that temple? The dark side? Bastila? No! No! How could that happen? She was always in danger of being seduced by the dark side, Carl. Bastila was strong, but she was always impatient and headstrong. Malak preyed upon her weakness. This planet is a tainted place. The Star Forge and the Temple have twisted the Force into an instrument of evil, just as Malak has twisted Bastila into a servant of the Sith. Malak has a strong hold on Bastila now. It will be difficult for her to break free of his influence, especially considering her long association with you. Remember the bond that was forged between you when she rekindled the spark that was your life. Through that bond, she touched your memories and also the echo of the dark taint within you. But there's still hope for her, right? I mean, Revan rejected the dark side, so Vasila could too, right? We still might be able to save her. I don't know what fate awaits us, but I sense Bastila still has a role to play in the events to come. I have no doubt she will be waiting for us on the Star Forge. No doubt. But let's go then before she has time to organize a bigger welcoming committee.
Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. Public fleet must have gotten a message I sent as we were crashing into that planet. I'm picking up the transmission from them now. This is Admiral Thorne Dodonna to the Abbott Hawk. Do you read us? Admiral Dodonna, this is Karth Anassi. We're receiving your transmission. Karth, I'm glad to see you're still alive. We've begun our assault on the Star Forge, but we're taking heavy losses. How did the Sith ever manage to build something of this scope? The Star Forge wasn't constructed by the Sith, Admiral. We don't have time for me to fully explain it. But that space station is far older than you can imagine. Maybe we should pull the fleet back and retreat. I don't know if we have the firepower to go up against this alien technology. You can't do that, Admiral. The Star Forge is a factory of immense power. It's been churning out the capital ships, stub fighters, and assault droids that have powered the Sith War effort. You have to destroy the Star Forge now, or you'll be fighting an unending wave of reinforcements. Then I guess we have no choice. But it isn't going to be easy. I can't even get our capital ships into position to start bombarding the Star Forge. The Sith fleet is too well organized. It's like they can guess our every move and count our every strategy. It's because of Bastila, Admiral. She turned to the dark side and became Malak's apprentice. We suspect she's somewhere on that space station right now, using her battle meditation against you and your fleet. This is Master Vandor. A number of Jedi Knights have joined our fleet under his command. If Bastila is using her power to augment the Sith, then Malak's fleet is invincible. Our only hope is to somehow stop Bastila from using her battle meditation. How can we do that if she's on the space station? I will send a squadron of Jedi Knights to the Star Forge to find Bastila. Their small ships will be able to fly through the Sith blockade and dock on the space station. If they can find Bastila, they may be able to distract her attention from the battle overhead. That should allow you to move your capital ships into position for a final assault on the Star Forge itself. I hate to ask this after all you've done, Karth, but the Jedi may need all the help they can get. Don't worry, Admiral. The Evanhawk and her crew are gonna see this through to the end. And may the Force be with you. You made it. Several Jedi have already gone ahead into the Star Forge. We have to strike while we still have the element of surprise. If we don't stop Bastila from using her battle meditation, the entire Republic fleet will be wiped out. Come on, before they... Damn! So much for catching them unprepared. We'll deal with these things. Yeah. You get into the Star Forge and find Bastila. Hurry! Um.
Yeah, what do you want? Your choice. Thank you. 